What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Laces. Now, today, guys, we are going to do a review of the Air Jordan 4 Winterized. I'm really excited to show you guys these shoes right here. I was really excited for this release. I've been looking forward to this for weeks now. Been really excited by this Jordan 4. So I'm excited to show that to you guys. But before we get into all of that, first things first, if you guys are new over here at Jason Laces, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscription button down below, guys. Also, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified when I drop my new videos. Now, Christmas is just a couple of days away, guys. So with that said, I just want to wish all of you guys, all of my subscribers, a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys all have a very good, wonderful Christmas. And with this release right here, this is one of the last releases I was really looking forward to for this year. So after this review, I think I will go ahead and do my video for top 10 pickups for 2019. So be looking forward to that. I will do my top 10 sneaker pickups for 2019. So make sure that you guys do hit that notification bell because I will be dropping that video and I do have a lot of more new sneaker pickups coming out soon. So make sure that you guys do have that notification bell hit. All right, y'all. So now with all of that said, let's go ahead and get to the sneakers. So we got the shoes right here. As you guys can see, this is a Foot Locker bag. So I did go ahead and pick these up from Foot Locker. Let's go ahead and take this box out of this bag. <clears throat> As y'all can see, we got our regular Air Jordan 4 box right here, the standard cement 4 box. As you guys can see, we got that black lid with the red jump, man. White flight right there. On the box part, we do have that cement box. Red jump, man, right there on the back. On the front of the box, you guys can see right here, we got Air Jordan 4 Retro Winter. The official color on these guys right here is Loyal Blue, black and white. These are size 11 and a half. Go ahead and pop this lid off there right in here you got your black plastic so go ahead and pull that down we got the shoes right on in there i'm going to take these out for you guys man these right here these are fire this is a fire for colorway now i don't care what nobody says i know that people are sleeping on these these are sitting but in my opinion this jordan 4 right here is dope guys now yeah so these did release on december 21st of 2019 and these did retail for 200 dollars now currently these are sitting i'm pretty sure they're still on sneakers app and i'm pretty sure you can still find the stores at least where i'm at they still had a lot left in the stores around here you know so a lot of people are sleeping on these and i'm surprised i thought a lot more people were gonna pick these up than they did i did see a lot of hype revolving around the shoe because it is very similar to the air jordan 4 m&m colorway and that is one of the most highly coveted sneakers of all time. Or at least Jordans. Like, those ones go for a ton. You know, I'll put a picture of those ones right there. But as you guys can see, you know, they look very similar to the Air Jordan 4 M&Ms. And that's one of the reasons I really like these. Because the Jordan 4 M&Ms are fire. I really like that colorway a lot. It's really dope. And, you know, this is probably the closest thing I'm ever going to get to those. So, I really like these. I'm a big fan of the Air Jordan 4s. And then, you know, you throw my favorite color on it. Blue. And it's close to one of my favorite Jordans, the Air Jordan 4 M&M's. Yeah, it's going to be a cop. These are fire. Now, this is my first ever, like, um, winterized sneaker. Besides, like, Timberlands, this is my first ever winterized sneaker. Well, you know, I'm pretty excited because the sneakers I usually wear in the wintertime is, like, black Air Forces and basically dark leather color shoes. Because those ones are the ones that are going to hold up in the snow and stuff like that and not get totally trashed. So to have an actual winterized sneaker that is actually made to like wearing the snow in the cold conditions like that, it's going to be dope. And it looks really dope. So that's cool. I'm excited to wear these all winter long. This might even make it on my top 10 pickup list for the year. It's, it's, I was really looking forward to this one right here. I like it a lot. Did you guys like this one? Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are looking forward to this or if you like this sneaker right here. Let me know if y'all picked it up or if y'all gonna wait for it to go on sale. If it does go on sale, maybe pick it up later. Let me know all of that in the comment section. We'll go ahead and get to the sneakers. So starting off with the bottom, as you guys can see, we got a mostly gray bottom down here. And then you do have your red part right there. And then you got a red jump in right there as well. Right here on the midsole, we do have a black midsole. So you guys can see we got black midsole right around here along the toe of the shoe right here on the inside. But this part right here is white. So we got black and white. So this part is white. Got a gray air bubble in there, clear and gray air bubble. The other side too. Now this upper part of the shoe is really weird. You know, it's a it's a really different material. You know, I haven't really seen this material on a lot of sneakers. Um, I want to say it. I, at first, I originally thought it was gonna be like a suede nubuck. I think it might. You know, it's hard to say. I feel like what it looks like is when it is when you have a suede or nubuck shoe. And after it wears down and wears off, and there's no longer, you know, like that 
um, when you swipe your finger, it changes colors type of feel to it. Like all the hairs pretty much got worn away. That's kind of the material that's on these right here. Because, you know, as you guys can see, you swipe your finger around, you don't see no hairs changing colors on these guys. But then again, it isn't also your regular leather. It's really crazy material that they got going on up here. But hopefully this material right here is, you know, like quote unquote waterproof or will hold up against the snow and the rain and all that. But yeah, you got that material going up on the upper. So that loyal blue colorway is on the entire upper of the shoe in that um crazy leather. Now right here on the like wings of the shoe, you do have these black wings with gray waffles right there. On the inside, you know, same thing, black wings with the gray waffles. Now the netting on the side of the shoe is different from the regular Jordan 4s. This is different netting that you got going on right here. Let me see, I'll show you guys. <clears throat> Because I did wear these Air Jordan 4 Motorsports today. As you guys can see, you got your like a uh, grid pattern netting right there on these Jordan 4s. This is the regular netting that they put on the Jordan 4s. And the netting on this one is much, much different. And I honestly think that they did this so that it would be a little bit more uh, waterproof for your feet, you know. So water and snow and stuff isn't seeping through there. And in fact, it's like a really uh, rugged, like... Looks like a very good quality rubber that's right there, as well as on the tongue, as you guys can see. I don't know what that little red thing is in there. I'll probably get that out later. But on the tongue, you got the same thing going on, and on the inside panel right there, too. On the back of the shoe, we got that loyal blue back tab, black jump man right there. On the front of the shoe, we got black laces on that blue tongue. And on the top of the tongue, we got a blue patch with the black jump man and the flight in red. And then right here on the insole of the shoe, as you guys can see, we got a black insole with a red jump in. And we got a black lining right here. Black lining. But the back of the tongue is red. And then you got Air Jordan in red on that blue patch. Now the lining of the shoe is different. As you guys can see, now let's take a good close look. You guys can see it, it's like a fleece lining inside the shoe. Not only is it fleece lining like behind the tongue and on the liner of the shoe, but also the insole. The insole is the same material right here. You know, got that fleece material. Like the inside of like a fleece hoodie or jacket, that's like what you got going on inside the shoe, which is really nice. That means it's gonna keep your feet really warm. But then again, at the same time, you probably wouldn't wanna be wearing these in, when it's hot, you know, like in the summertime, you probably won't be able to wear these because your feet will be sweating. Now, if I go ahead and grab the other shoe right here, one thing that I did notice though is no hang tag with these right here. Pretty disappointed in that, you know, Jordan 4 is supposed to get a hang tag. They Jordan Brand has been releasing a lot of Jordan 4s that haven't been having hang tags lately, and I'm pretty disappointed. Jordan Brand, like, that's one thing I love about the Air Jordan 4s is the hang tags. You guys should have thrown a hang tag in with these guys, that would have been really dope. I mean, they did cost $200, $10 over the regular retail price for Air Jordan 4s and didn't give us a hang tag, so you know, I guess it is what it is. It's still a dope shoe, in my opinion. I just feel like they should have given us at least that basic, you know, orange Jordan hang tag. If they would have given us like a special one, that would have been pretty cool too. But right here, this is the right sneaker and this is the left sneaker. I'll go ahead and give you guys a good 360 round view of both of those. Both sneakers are pretty much the same. And we'll go ahead and do an on feet video for these guys because you guys have been letting me know that you guys missed the on feet and want to keep seeing the on feet. So we'll go ahead and throw these on feet. pretty much all these Air Jordan 4 winterized joints or also loyal blue. Let me know what you guys think of these in the comment section down below, guys. I think it's a really dope sneaker. I'm glad I picked these up and added these to my collection. If you have made it this far in the video and are not yet subscribed to my channel, then you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and help your boy out and hit that subscribe button. Guys, 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you know, if you're over here and watching my videos, 
you might as well go ahead and get subscribed and support your boy. Also, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. It takes the channel really far as well. And then with all that said, I'll catch you guys next time on Jason's Laces.